Hi guys, uh, this video today will show you a quick uh, look at my latest app Gear Office for the watch uh, for the Gear 2. Um, it's a uh, text PDF reader, an uh, Evernote client, and a clipboard reader. Um, here, as you can see here, I have the uh, app on the watch and on the phone. First, I'll show you how to read documents on it. Here are some files I have copied to the watch storage. I can tap on an item to view its content. I can tap on the text to decrease or increase the font size. Swipe down to go back. Here's another example. This one is in Korean. This one is in Russian. Sorry. And here are the here is a, a PDF file in Korean. You can increase or decrease the font size like normal text file. So in order to view uh, the documents on the watch, you must uh, copy the files into the documents folder on your watch. Here is the folder. This one. Just copy all the files inside this to this folder, and you are good to go. Um, uh, if you want to view text file on your gear, uh, the text file should be encoded using UTF-8 encoding. And this is an example I will show you. And here is the file content. You save the file. Choose UTF-8 encoding. Save it. Copy it to the watch. Paste. Yes. Close the application. Load it again. And here is our new file. Next, Evernote feature. Uh, first, to use uh, to use Evernote first, you must uh, log into your Evernote account. Do it real quick. Just a moment. All right. Uh, because I have already authorized uh, this app before, I will just press reauthorize. It will be authorized in your case. Now you can use Evernote on the watch. So here is the uh, Evernote interface. You can uh, load all the existing uh, notebooks uh, to the watch like so. So here I have uh, four notebooks. Just uh, we can. Uh, Load all of them. Uh, in this case, I will just load one. The work notebook. Uh, why it is loading? You can see the content of the uh, uh, notebooks here. Here is the Evernote apps on my uh, computer. We have currently have four. 
six six knots. Here is the content of the file. We will load this one to the watch to see how it looks. Issues to discuss. So here is the knot. And the no content. Of course you can decrease the font size. So the notes here and the notes here is looks the same. Now since it is a um have a note plan for the watch, all the attachment tables, images, audio files will be ignored. It just display the uh, uh note content, not the media files. And this uh all the note content if loaded to the watch won't be stored offline so you can use it without the Bluetooth connection. This one is available offline. And this one is not downloaded before so the app will try to download it now. Here is another content. You can load more notes if you want. So next to the next feature. Oh, um, uh, I want to mention that uh, since uh, the, the content is available offline, if you make any changes online, you must tap the refresh button to load the new content again. So to the next feature, the clipboard viewer, which uh, can get the clipboard on the phone. You can just press the button and it will get the content from the phone provided that um, the phone is connected uh, to the watch using Bluetooth. You can see the content here. Okay, it's just, uh, let's go back to the watch and uh, copy some text. Ah, uh, sorry, go back to the phone. <coughs> Alright, so you can select any text from any apps oh sorry copy it now go back to the watch fetch and there you go the content is now available for viewing on the watch let's uh Look another one from the message. This one. Oh, this one. Copy text. Here you go. And you can store up to ten uh, clip modes on the watch. And it is also available for offline view. As long as uh, your application can uh, yeah, allows you to uh, copy the text, you can view it on your watch. So here is the uh, Google Plus. Oh, sorry. Uh, copy comment text. So the content here. Here is the original one. Alright, right. so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching guys.